Why does the genealogy in Matthew contradict the genealogy in Luke? In the book of Matthew, chapter 1, it gives a genealogy from Abraham all the way down to Jesus. And in Luke chapter 3, it gives a genealogy from Jesus all the way up to Adam. In Matthew chapter 1, it says that Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. It says here that Jacob begot Joseph, which would mean that Jacob is the father of Joseph. However, in Luke chapter 3, it says that Joseph was the son of Heli, which would mean that Heli is the father of Joseph. So in Matthew chapter 1, it says that Jacob is the father of Joseph, but in Luke chapter 3, it says that Heli is the father of Joseph. So one book says that Jacob is the father, the other book says that Heli is the father, so the question is, is who's the father? Is Jacob the father, or is Heli the father, or are Jacob and Heli the same person? Well, they can't be the same person because Jacob's father is Methan, Heli's father is Methat. They have different fathers. They have different grandfathers. They have different great-grandfathers. They have different great-great-grandfathers. They have different genealogies. So how could Joseph have two different fathers with two different genealogies? Well, there's a 4th century historian by the name of Eusebius who explains this supposed discrepancy in the genealogy of Christ. In Eusebius' Ecclesiastical History, in Book 1, Chapter 7, Page 21, Second Paragraph, Second Sentence, he says, Heli and Jacob were brothers by the same mother, Heli dying childless, Jacob raised up seed to him, having Joseph according to nature belonging to himself, but by law to Heli, thus Joseph was the son of both. According to Eusebius, Jacob and Heli were brothers. In Deuteronomy 25.5, it says, If brothers dwell together, and one of them dies and has no son, the widow of the dead man shall not be married to a stranger outside the family. Her husband's brother shall go unto her, take her as his wife, and perform the duty of a husband's brother to her. And it shall be that the firstborn son which she bears will succeed to the name of his dead brother, that his name may not be blotted out of Israel. Basically what this scripture verse is saying is that when a man and a woman get married without having any children and then something happens and the man dies childless, his widow must not marry outside the family, but rather her husband's brother shall take her and marry her and fulfill the duty of a brother-in-law to her, and the first son that she gives birth to shall carry on the name of the dead brother, even though the living brother is the one who begot the child. The child still must be recognized by law as the son of the dead brother so that his name is not blotted out from Israel. In the book of Matthew, it says that Jacob begot Joseph. However, in the book of Luke, it says that Joseph was the son of Heli. Eusebius points out here that Luke entirely omits the expression he begot because it's not possible for two different men to have begotten the same child. However, it is possible for one man to have begotten the child while the child is recognized by law as the son of another man according to the law of Deuteronomy 25.5. And according to the history handed down by Eusebius, this is exactly what happened. Jacob was the living brother, and Heli was the dead brother. Heli and Jacob were brothers by the same mother. Heli, dying childless, Jacob raised up seed to him, having Joseph, according to nature belonging to himself, but by law to Heli, thus Joseph was the son of both. The question is, though, how could Jacob and Heli be brothers? When Jacob's father is Methan, and Heli's father is Methet. They have different fathers. They have different genealogies. So how could Jacob and Heli possibly be brothers? Well, Eusebius explains that Methan, whose descent is traced to Solomon, begot Jacob, Methan dying, Methet, whose lineage is traced from Nathan, by marrying the widow of the former, had Heli, hence Heli and Jacob were brothers by the same mother. If you didn't quite catch all that, then let me quickly illustrate what's being said here. According to Eusebius, Methan, whose lineage is traced to Solomon, married a woman by the name of Esther. They together had a son named Jacob. Then something happened to where Methan died. However, since Methan had a son to carry on his name, his widow is free to marry outside the family, and that's exactly what she did. She married a man by the name of Methat from a different family with a different genealogy, whose lineage is traced to Nathan, the son of David. Then they together had a son named Heli, thus Jacob and Heli are brothers by the same mother, though they had different fathers with different genealogies. Then, when Jacob and Heli grew up, Heli married a woman, but before they could have any children, Heli died childless. So his widow was required by law not to marry outside the family. So Jacob took her as his wife, fulfilled the duty of a brother-in-law to her, raising up seed to him, having Joseph, who by nature belonged to himself, but by law belonged to Heli. 
So when the book of Matthew says that Jacob begot Joseph, that's true. But when the book of Luke says that Joseph was the son of Heli, that's also true. Neither of the Gospels have made a false statement. Both accounts are true. All this information can be found in Eusebius' Ecclesiastical History in Book 1, Chapter 7, pages 19 through 21. You can buy this book on Amazon.com for just 20 bucks. Now, there's some people who give a much different explanation of the genealogies, and they say things like this. The church historian Eusebius, writing in the early 4th century, records that separate genealogies appear for the following reason. Jesus had both a biological mother, Mary, and a legal but not biological father, Joseph. Matthew records Jesus' genealogy by the law through his adopted father, Joseph. And Luke records the genealogy of nature through his biological mother, Mary. According to Eusebius' ecclesiastical history, Julius Africanus, a third century church father, explained this alleged contradiction in his letter to Aristides. According to this guy, the genealogy in Matthew is that of Joseph, and the one in Luke is of Mary. Which would mean that when the book of Luke says that Joseph was the son of Heli, what it means is that Joseph is the son-in-law of Heli. Which would mean that Heli is the father of Mary, and Joseph married his daughter. And in order to back up his claim, he references Eusebius' Ecclesiastical History, Book 1, Chapter 7. Well, I own Eusebius' Ecclesiastical History, and I looked up Book 1, Chapter 7, and according to Eusebius, Heli died childless. He says, Heli, dying childless, Jacob raised up seed to him. So how could Mary be the daughter of Heli when Heli died childless? According to Eusebius, Joseph is not the son-in-law of Heli. He's the son of Heli according to the law. Not according to the law of marriage, but according to the law of Deuteronomy 25.5, the law of a brother-in-law, when a man raises up seed to his dead brother. So, I don't know where this guy got his information, but he definitely did not get it from Eusebius like he claims. According to Eusebius, both genealogies are of Joseph, neither are of Mary. <laughs>